Hello guys, how's it going? Trainer Oak back here with another video. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the new balance update that's coming out tomorrow, December 11th. It's going to go out live. It uh, mostly focuses on the Hog Rider, Prince, Guards, Elixir Collector. Those are the main things that change. Giant Skeleton, Knight, Ice Golem, and uh, Goblins both uh, got a little bit of um, tinkling to do with it. Alright, let's go over this in order. Um, first off is the Hog Rider. So, Hog Rider hit speed go increases from 1.6 seconds to from 1.5 seconds. So, it will be a tad bit slower. In addition, the first attack becomes 0.1 seconds slower, which means that um, if the Hog Rider reaches your tower, it's going to initially attack within 1.7 seconds. And then after that, it's going to do normal attacks from 1.6 seconds. So it's kind of like the Royal Giant where they added like the two second load time, except uh, obviously the Hog Rider isn't going to load. Um, next up is the Knight. The hit speed it goes from uh, 1.1 to 1.2, so it's also slowed, but it's not going to have too much of a drastic change because uh, it's a Knight and it's still going to act and focus as a tank. And it's not really used too much as a damage output. It's used to like bait out opponents and... Um, uh, make a kind of positive elixir trades. Next up is the Prince. Prince got a pretty hefty buff here. It, uh, its health points also increased by 5%. Its hit speed is faster now. From, uh, it goes from uh, 1.5 to 1.4. Um, which means that originally it was a tournament standard. It would do 216 damage normal to a tower. And uh, its charge damage would do 651, obviously more than a rocket. Um, uh, with the new update, it's going to have a 227 normal um, uncharged damage, which means uh, roughly about uh, same fireball damage. So you can just imagine just uh, um, the prince poking fireballs out. Um, and its charge damage goes from 651 to 683, which is still pretty pretty good. Um, uh, speaking of rockets and stuff, rocket, arrow, lightning, poison, arrow, uh, fireball, and zap all got a nerf. They got a minus 5% crown tower damage. Maybe Supercell is pushing for like an all troop or building type deck. I don't know, I'm obviously not in their brain. I'm just predicting. Ice Golem also got a nerf. Uh, it's death damage, slow effect went from 2 seconds to 1 second, so it's no longer going to function as a really... Um, amazing tank anymore like it used to it wouldn't provide value for like uh, say a hog push uh, where you could just simply just uh, zap it real quick um, I don't know if ice golem is going to be viable in the meta anymore I night night still might be probably used instead of ice golem still um, but we'll have to see tomorrow since it's going to go live tomorrow um, uh, next is the Skeleton Barrel, and with this card we've seen, like, um, not too much love for it, not too many people use it. Um, so Supercell decided to give it a buff by adding death damage, and initially in the game, uh, a while back when it was first re released, Goblin Barrel did a similar type of damage when it landed, like, when it right la it landed on the, um, tower, it would do about 6 HP damage onto, onto it. And so, I guess they're implementing the same thing for the Skeleton Barrel since um, it's easily zappable and it definitely needs an HP boost in my opinion. Um, uh, speaking of Goblin Barrel, Goblins, including Goblin Barrel, Goblin Gang, and uh, Normal Stab Goblins, they all got a minus 6% damage. And so that uh, completely nerfs, the, that almost nerfs the um, Hog Rider... Uh, goblin push, uh, which is for six elixir, you could take out a tower. When you could do the same thing with an ice spirit and uh, um, what do you call it? That this card right here. Oh, bowler. Uh, the, I sorry, I completely forgot the ice ice spirit and bowler for six elixir also, and it still would not take a tower. Um, uh, Giant Skeleton, Giant Skeleton up next on the list, it's HP got a 5% boost, which is uh, pretty good considering now it can act like a, pretty much a giant with an effect. Um, possibly a new meta, possibly we could see Giant Skeleton clone coming back. 
Um, and that deck was really fun to play. 2v2 is also going to be uh, crazier than ever with this giant skeleton clone, since uh, giant skeletons used a lot in 2v2 um, battles. Uh, next up, the biggest buff out of the whole entire list is the guards. Its damage increased by 5%, health points increased by 5%, and hit speed is faster. It goes from 1.2 seconds to 1.1 seconds. So they're trying to push um, using Ice Golem and uh, Goblins to distract and uh, trying to focus on um, using the Larrys, using the, using the guards. Um, to like tank for say a P.E.K.K.A. And the biggest nerf out of this whole entire list is definitely the Elixir Collector with an HP nerf of 13%. Now, Lightning, Tournament Standard Lightning can kill a Tournament Standard um, Pump. Which is pretty good considering uh, that uh, Lightning is pretty much the same value and Rocket is the same value also. So now we have more value for the lightning when we can attack three time, uh, three things at once and uh, rocket can only attack once so that's pretty good we'll be seeing lightning a lot more in the meta also uh, so possible prediction meta changes uh, I'm, I'm pretty much there hog and knight didn't get a nerf at all uh, the knight zap bait deck is still going to be viable hog rider uh, mini pekka rocket decks uh, that cycle deck is still going to be viable. Um, the Goblin Gang and the Ice Golem were pretty much overused, in my opinion, throughout the whole entire game. And uh, we will definitely see more guards in ink action. Um, the Three Musketeer Pump deck, um, that's kind of like mellowish in the meta right now. It's uh, probably going to receive the biggest nerf because the Three Musketeers weren't as viable won't be as viable without the pump. Um, Miner won't get a nerf. Miner will still be fine for the pump. Uh, Giant Skeleton is definitely going to be back into this meta. We'll pro probably see like a Giant Skeleton Inferno Tower um, thing. What I'm scared for the most is uh, the Goizen, the Goizen strategy, the Giant Poison Prince strategy. The Prince guy is faster, Giant's still the same, Giant's gonna serve as a tank, Poison. Um, with this 5% uh, decrease nerf, uh, only to Crown Towers though, so that's still gonna be good against uh, other troops, in my opinion. Um, uh, uh, in that in that Goizen deck, they used the Guards, the Prince, the um, Giant, and those were your main defensive and offensive units. So, we'll probably see some of those in action. Yeah, we'll probably see some of those in action. And uh, um, uh, they also gave another sneak peek. Let me exit out of this replay real quick. If you go right here, they're coming out with uh, about three new things. First off, there's a new card coming. Twice. There's two new cards coming, apparently. I don't know. I doubt this. Like anything is gonna be related to balls and stuff, and anything is gonna be related to joysticks. But this new arena that's coming, it's gonna look so freaking fantastic. It's gonna it's gonna look like an Electro Wizard house. That's what that's what that's what I'm imagining. And I'm gonna be so hyped for it. But it's definitely not gonna be higher than Legendary Arena. Uh, just comment down below what, whatever you guys think what it could be, what possible new cards could be added. Hopefully it's not a legendary, because legendaries are so hard to farm these days. Even though Supercell is really trying to add legendaries into the game, and then making it more viable. Uh, Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, stay tuned for more. Leave a like, and subscribe. Peace.